April 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Joshua chapters 13 and 14 from the Old Testament. When Joshua was very old, the Lord told him, You are very old, and a great deal of land remains to be conquered. This is the land that remains all the territory of the Philistines and all the Gershurites. From the Shior River, east of Egypt, northward to the territory of Ekron, it is regarded as Canaanite territory, including the area belonging to the five Philistine lords who ruled in Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelion, Gath, and Ekron, as well as Avite land to the south and all the Canaanite territory, from Era in the region of Sidon to Aphek as far as Amorite territory, the territory of Byblos and all Lebanon to the east, from Balgad below Mount Hermon to Le Bohemoth. I will drive out before the Israelites all who live in the hill country, from Lebanon to Misrephoth Maim, all the Sidonians. You be sure to parcel it out to Israel as I instructed you. Now divide up this land among the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The other half of Manasseh, Reuben, and Gad received their allotted tribal lands beyond the Jordan, just as Moses, the Lord's servant, had assigned them. Their territory started from Aurora on the edge of the Arnon Valley, included the city in the middle of the valley, the whole plain of Madaba as far as Dibon, and all the cities of King Sion of the Amorites who ruled in Heshbon, and ended at the Ammonite border. Their territory also included Gilead, Geshurite, and Maacathite territory, all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan to Selka, the whole kingdom of Og and Bashan, who ruled in Ashtaroth and Edrei. He was one of the remaining few Rephaites. Moses defeated them and took their lands, but the Israelites did not conquer the Geshurites and the Maacathites. Geshur and Maacah live among Israel to this very day. However, Moses did not assign land as an inheritance to the Levites. Their inheritance is the sacrificial offerings made to the Lord God of Israel as he instructed them. Moses assigned land to the tribe of Reuben by its clans. Their territory started at Aurora on the edge of the Arnon Valley and included the city in the middle of the valley, the whole plain of Medaba. Heshbon, and all its surrounding cities on the plain, including Dibon, Bamoth Baal, Beth Baal Meon, Jahaz, Kedimoth, Mephaath, Kiriatham, Sibma, Zerish Sheir on the hill in the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshimoth. It encompassed all the cities of the plain and the whole realm of King Sihon of the Amorites who ruled in Heshbon. Moses defeated him and the Midianite leaders Evi, Recom, Zer, Hur, and Reba. They were subjects of Sihon and lived in his territory. The Israelites killed Balaam, son of Beor, the omen reader, along with the others. The border of the tribe of Reuben was the Jordan. The land allotted to the tribe of Reuben by its clans included these cities and their towns. Moses assigned land to the tribe of Gad by its clans. Their territory included Jazer, all the cities of Gilead, and half of Ammonite territory as far as Aurora near Rabbah. Their territory ran from Heshbon to Ramoth Pizpah and Betonim, and from Mahanam to the territory of Deber. It included the valley of Beth Haram, Beth Nimra, Succoth, and Zaphon and the rest of the realm of King Sion of Heshbon, the area east of the Jordan to the end of the Sea of Kinnereth. The land allotted to the tribe of Gad by its clans included these cities and their towns. Moses assigned land to the half-tribes of Manasseh by its clans. Their territory started at Mahayim and encompassed all Bashan. The whole realm of King Og of Bashan, including all sixty cities in Havoth Jair in Bashan, half of Gilead, Ashtaroth, 
and Edrei, cities in the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were assigned to the descendants of Maker, son of Manasseh, to half the descendants of Maker by their clans. These are the land assignments made by Moses on the plains of Moab, east of the Jordan River, opposite Jericho. However, Moses did not assign land as an inheritance to the Levites. Their inheritance is the Lord God of Israel, as he instructed them. The following is a record of the territory assigned to the Israelites in the land of Canaan by Eleazar the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, and the Israelite tribal leaders. The land assignments to the nine and a half tribes were made by drawing lots, as the Lord had instructed Moses. Now Moses had assigned land to the two and a half tribes east of the Jordan, but he assigned no land to the Levites. The descendants of Joseph were considered as two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. The Levites were allotted no territory, though they were assigned cities in which to live along with the grazing areas for their cattle and possessions. The Israelites followed the Lord's instructions to Moses and divided up the land. The men of Judah approached Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephaniah, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said about you and me to Moses, the man of God at Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the Lord's servant, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy on the land, and I brought back to him an honest report. My countrymen who accompanied me frightened the people, but I remained loyal to the Lord my God. That day Moses made this solemn promise. Surely the land on which you walked will belong to you and your descendants permanently, for you remain loyal to the Lord your God. So now look, the Lord has preserved my life just as he promised. These past 45 years since the Lord spoke these words to Moses, during which Israel traveled through the wilderness. Now look, I am today 85 years old. Today I am still as strong as when Moses sent me out. I can fight and go about my daily activities with the same energy I had then. Now assign me this hill country which the Lord promised me at that time. No doubt you heard at that time that the Anakites live there in large fortified cities. But assuming the Lord is with me, I will conquer them as the Lord promised. Joshua asked God to empower Caleb, son of Jephaniah, and assigned him Hebron. So Hebron remains the assigned land of Caleb, son of Jephaniah the Kenizzite, to this very day because he remained loyal to the Lord God of Israel. Hebron used to be called Kiriath Arba. Arba was a famous Anakite. Then the land was free of war. God, sometimes I wonder what I will be like, or if I'll even be, when I'm 85 years old. I suspect if I was in my 20s, I couldn't even imagine what 85 years old looks like, but I'm now halfway there. Uh, maybe a little bit more than halfway there. <laughs> Getting close. Um, and Caleb had such strong faith. Such amazing energy, no doubt, by the faith. And I was just talking today uh, to someone and talking about being old and harder to do things. And I said, yeah, but every time I get to see God work in somebody's life or he puts me in the front row to watch his miracles happen... I'm so blessed because that's what re-energizes me. And I suspect that that's part of what Caleb's energy came from. That even though he was 85 years old, he had seen such incredible details of your power and your sovereignty, God, that he must have had enough energy for three lifetimes. And I think that we have that too. We just don't pay close, of en close enough attention to the things going on around us. Your power is everywhere. You are working behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, sometimes right in front of us and we may not even realize. You know, I think of all the things that I can attribute to your power in my life. And I have to realize that must just be the very, very, very tip of a huge, gigantic iceberg of what I can't see of what you're doing be behind the details. <laughs> I think about the, the last couple days where 
I had I had a guy hit on me. Um, saw him just a couple days after that at a business situation, and lo and behold, his wife and two kids were there with him. My heart sank. Not not so much that oh gosh, I'm not going to get a go on my date, but more from the fact of why why when one of the desires of my heart is to possibly have a, an amazing man of God as my husband and for us to have a family together why would something like that be put in my path and and lo and behold just a couple days later completely destroyed by somebody who used to be in my path and just making hurtful cruel choices again and then this morning at church trying to help somebody who was just being really negative and my husband can't do this and my child can't do this and this is awful and this is this and trying to get her to see all the incredible blessings that you had given her including a, a baby on the way um, a technically healthy child rambunctious but healthy child and and a husband who loves her very much and the whole time I'm counseling her on remembering her blessings my heart is just sinking realizing that what she doesn't see as a blessing is something that I would love to have. And how often, God, do we forget those things? How often do we forget that we are so incredibly blessed by all the work we see you do and all the work you do behind the scenes? That instead we just choose those moments in our life that don't seem to go our way and those are the things that that destroy us or sidetrack us or upset us or or cause huge moments in our life to pass in our life to change even throughout all of that god i can clearly see your hand i don't know what the results are going to be <laughs> at all but i can clearly see your hand i can clearly see you protecting me from getting involved emotionally with somebody and then finding out later on they're married with children. I can see you protecting me from a past relationship that hurt me, that would hurt me again if I got involved again. And I can also see the blessings of helping somebody see the amazing things that they already have in their life and to concentrate on those. God, it's obvious to see why Caleb was so excited at 85 years old, he intentionally sought out in his day-to-day -day living, he continually sought out to find you in everything. And not only did he find you in everything, but everything in his life he attributed to you and knew with you in his life, everything else would take care of itself, including at 85 years old, he was going to Take the Anakites out of where he wanted to build his his home. God, I hope I always have that type of faith. That no matter what happens in my life, especially when things don't go the way I think I want them to go, that instead of acting like a, a spoiled child and getting upset and frustrated, that instead I'm like Caleb, who has just amazing outlook on life and who intentionally seeks out and watches what you do, God. Your sovereignty, your control. Thank you, God. Thank you for allowing me to see your fingerprints all over these situations. In your son's name I pray. Amen.